Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Kayla, also known as Kiki Curly Kayla. I feel like I'm not bright enough, wait. I feel like I'm never bright enough. Okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Revlon um, Salon, what is this called? Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. Um, if you saw me, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I purchased this during the Ulta sale. It was half off, plus I had 20% off of it. I forgot how much it was, but it was a steal. I wanna say $17, um, but I've never opened it. And I'm gonna open it for you guys really quick. I just wanted you to see tape still on. It's never been opened, so let's open this bad boy up. Okay, here, finally. So it's just a piece of cardboard. There's nothing else in here. This is all that's in the box. The brush and an instruction pamphlet so I mean I'm gonna assume like I know how to use this already and no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read it oh cool here are the settings so off cool low high I guess you twist it uh, let's see if you can see that where'd it go oh right here off cool low high so you twist this little knob and it'll put it so I'm, I have it on off right now because obviously I'm not using it it definitely comes in a lot of wrapping paper which you know that's cool here finally we have it open we have it it's really cute it's pink the handle is very large i've heard that before but if you hold it right here i think it'll be good I'm gonna go ahead and plug it up. Uh, more instructions, one step dryer, excuse me. I read how to use just to be in case. Towel dryer, remove extra water, plug the advice, use a low setting on thin hair, high on thick hair. Um, maintain, clean, unclog the appliance, do not wash in water, dust and lint can be removed with air, with a small brush or vacuum cleaner. Um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't really need to go all into this. I just washed, shampooed my hair, I've applied the leave-in, and I've applied the um, oil. So this is my hair right now. It's still kind of wet, but we about to get rid of that. That's the point. So it has a lot of product on it. I may dry this up real quick, but uh, this is the section I'm gonna do first. So this is still kind of wet. I'm just working the product through it. Whoa. Then I'm taking a towel and I'm drying it up like so. It's pretty damp now. So now we're gonna go ahead and use the brush. So I'm gonna do high um, and I'm kind of scared to use this. So let me see when it turns on and yeah. Do not be like me guys because I completely forgot to put my blow dry cream on even though I have enough cream to last me a lifetime in here. I just put a little bit of blow dry cream on and then I'll... And I have to run my hair right through my hair a little bit because my hair is still kind of wet. But so far it glides through my hair with ease so I'm not mad at it. I don't hear it. I don't see it being straight though. And I did get some product on so you do want to make sure your hair is dry because look I got product on it. Ugh. Or at least damp, not dry, but damp. So we're gonna go back and do it.
can see my hair is not straight well half of it's still damp so now I have to get the brush and brush it still and keep passing it through um, I think it's taking longer than expected that it would be quick but it's super straight on this part you guys can see it's super straight and then it's not dry here so it's still a little bit curly but we're gonna just brush it and keep seeing um, if it do what it do <laughs> straighter um, but I have to do a lot of passes for it to get to this point and my bathroom is a little smoky so I'll, if you see the door open sorry in advance um, make sure you guys are being careful because it, that's a trash can by the way make sure you guys are being careful one passing it so many times you might want to wait till it's a little bit drier I'm just impatient um, so definitely make sure it's a little bit drier and be careful because it does produce a lot of heat like I burnt my thumb like that's how hot it gets so just be careful with those two um, factors but other than that I'm liking it so far and I just have to keep kind of pulling it and making sure it stays straight but it's not didn't do too bad of a job my ends need to be trimmed but definitely do too too bad of a job and I'm probably gonna pass through it one more time I just wanted to kind of get it dampish straight but I'm gonna go ahead and twist it and then you guys can just watch me do the rest of my hair comfortable passing heat through their hair so much time so many times but if you can see my curls are still here like this isn't damaged and this is like my hair is trying to revert back already so for me thankfully um heat has never been a problem I think part of it is like Florida's built my immunity up so yeah I still feel some damn section so I know that's gonna revert back but I'm gonna keep pulling at it and keep it like stretched and we'll see okay my camera cut off on me because i'm taking so long so i'm just going to do this last section on camera i probably sped up the other parts i know but i'm going to do this last section on camera and then the rest i'm going to do off camera um because it's going to take at least another 30 minutes and i'm not going to record for 30 more minutes so i'm going to do the front though because you can always see the front look at my bang okay So I do want to mention that my front is a little bit drier than the rest of my hair because the front is not as thick as back here. Like this is still damp right here. It's literally like soaking wet and you can see it's kind of reverting back already. Um, so I'm going to run through it with the blow dryer one more time. Um, but I kind of wanted to show you guys this is what I'm working with right now. Um, and yeah, I like it though. It's cute. I'm going to finish the rest off camera, but look, oh, come through thickness. I'm about to have a fluffy twist up. I already could wear my hair like this. I'm not going to, but I definitely could. Look, wow, high hair. Wow. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest off camera and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, it took me a while because I twisted this hair up. So once I finished blow drying everything, I went ahead and I twist, I like took it by section, blow dried it a little bit and then twisted it up. I'm trying to do like a chunky, 
uh, twist out. I'm going to a colder climate, going up north, not up north, up north. I'm going to like still down south. I'm going to Mississippi. Um, I know it's way colder over there though, so I think my hair will last a little bit longer. So I was like, let me blow dry it and then I'll do a twist. I'll untwist it when I get there because I'm riding in the car. And you guys know anyway, when you travel, you literally don't want to worry about your hair because you're traveling. So I um, just decided to twist it up after I blow dried it some, but this is it. My other side completely blow dried. And again, what I do is I take like this section I'll go over it again and then I use a twisting cream and I just twist it up um, I got that idea from Jalen Mitchell uh, natural rain I'll list the video below it's a chunky twist out it's a good fall style um, so I thought I would try it all in all I really love the blow dryer it does you have to do a lot of passes so I would wait till your hair is more on the damp spectrum as opposed to the super wet spectrum it does pull your hair out but what can you expect especially this being bristles um, but it's easy to clean. It's literally just like a bristle brush, so I know you can put a comb through it. I didn't have any troubles. This is about as much hair as I lost on both sides. Um, and that was it, honestly. Sorry. That was it, guys. I really love the brush. I think it was worth the $17. I don't really know if I would pay $30 for it just because I don't bro I don't bro I don't blow dry my hair like that that much. But for the price I got and I've been wanting to try it, I really do like it. It made my hair as straight as could be without flat ironing it you like I said you may I don't know if your hair is prone to heat damage or anything but like once I put you can see my hair is literally curling back right now cuz wait like you see that so thankfully I'm not too too prone to heat damage knock on some wood but um luckily I'm able to do this and you do have to do a lot of passes um, that's what I did when it's more the wetter it is the more passes you have to make so I definitely recommend doing it on a dryer hair um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. That was all I had on it. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, so make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. And thanks for watching.